Welcome to Modern Plastics TV, the first and largest online TV for the plastics and polymer industry, voice of global plastics industry since 2013. Plastic is fantastic, amazing. The slogan itself says everything. The slogan says plastic is fantastic. Then why we are throwing those plastic into the environment? Let us meet Mr. Wagish Dishik. Thank you, sir, for joining us here. Plastic is fantastic is a concept what I liked personally too. Could you please elaborate how did this idea came in and how it is working for the industry and the environment? Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, I've been associated with plastics for over 40 years and I speak a lot in public domain and I uh, believe the evolution of plastic was, was not to ruin the world, it was to liberate the world. It was to help the world to be a better place to live in. And this journey is not from one day to the other. If you see the first Nobel Prizes that were given nearly 100 years back were for the work done in the, in the chemistry of plastics. And in the last 100 plus years, there have been over, I think, two dozen or if not more awards and recognitions at the Nobel Prize level and at various other levels awarded to scientists and people of deep thought to bring evolution in lightweighting materials and in not, none, of the, uh, none of the work that has happened in, in terms of uh, space, discovery of space, sending all these, uh, you know, uh, now, now you have satellites all over the world without the involvement of very high-end plastics and composites, this journey would have not been possible. Having said this, people, as we all grow towards aspiring to live a better life, we also need to be conscious that all materials that the world has are within limitations and therefore we need to consume wisely. And when we see problem statements in terms of uh, disposal or waste or heaps of garbage or even stuff that is going in oceans or whatever, uh, we tend to blame the material instead of the people who use the material. And uh, consequently, there's a lot of blame game, finger pointing and, and a feeling of guilt and sometimes the oh my God feeling. And in, in this respect, I think the, the coinage of the term plastic is fantastic, as you see here. I think uh, this came out of some conversations in Alpla. Our CEO, who's 40, uh, represents the new generation, uh, the generation who would question uh, far more vehemently about anything, including plastics. And I think this conversation led to saying, hey, why are we apologetic? Plastic is fantastic. What we need to do is think about how are we using it? Are we using it carefully? I mean, in this booth in Kesho, if you see the plastic is fantastic show, is showing water being dispensed uh, from a big 20 liter uh, carousel and not with disposable stuff here. But if you're on the go in a train, in a plane, I mean, and if you need to drink water or, or juice or uh, whatever, I mean, it's impractical to carry around glass bottles or, or canisters or even to have the right refilling stations and stuff. And would you rely all over the world on those refilling stations? In India, we have this conversation ongoing and then I would worry about my health because I don't know what kind of quality is there in the water generating systems. So therefore, plastic provides a very affordable and very uh, hygienic way to keep people hydrated. The point is, what do we do with these bottles? Are we just throwing them on the road or are we allowing them to be recycled properly? In the Indian context, 95% of PET is recycled for economic reasons. This is the least known fact in the world that we are the thought leaders effectively in practice of using 95% recycling rates. The rest of the five we need to fix and we need to stop throwing stuff, not only plastic, but glass or whatever. And towards this, plastic is fantastic, which started as a conversation in Alpla, is now an independent organization 
global movement. Global organization and a global movement. And, uh, and this has, uh, we have had many, many thought leaders, many, many big companies who have joined this movement because they all have a central belief, hey, this material is fantastic. We need to work together in making sure it is used responsibly, it is recycled responsibly, and we together help the world and we help people to live a life that is safe, the products are safe, affordable and sustainable. And towards this, Plastic is Fantastic is an amazing journey. What message you want to give it to, give it to industry because this is a specifically industry-driven association to uh, create the uh, educate people. So what message you want to give it to the industry? Uh, to the industry, uh, my message is exactly the message we have internally, that our job is not just to silently do good work. We also need to talk about what we do. We also need to keep introspecting of what can we do better. And this message cannot be uh, a one-time message once in a year or twice on LinkedIn, we need to make sure this message goes out to people. I don't want my, my grandchild to grow up getting worried, is this bottle of water safe? I mean, in India, we have done CFTRI studies of microplastics in water for one and a half years, spending hundreds and thousands of euros in a government-sponsored study, and we found the water was perfect. There was absolutely no problem, scientifically. Now, these kind of things, nobody knows. Only thing they know is some half-truths that are thrown out in, in, a, in a Twitter or in a, in a TikTok message, sensationalizing the claim. I mean, the one which really gets my goat is, do you know that you have one credit card worth of plastics in your brain? For Christ's sake, if you had one third of that, the gen this whole generation would be dead. We wouldn't have one human being alive. There are 9 billion people, there are billions of people who use credit cards. And, and if you had an ounce of that in your brain, we would not be talking, we would be dead. Right. And, and people who have developed this are human beings. They are far more responsible than the blokes who do TikTok, for Christ's sake. The guys who are sitting in labs doing 35 years, 40 years of research, including in government bodies, we, we owe them some respect. And we ourselves respect of, of being hardworking people, who want to help society to live better. And therefore, my message to the companies is go out of your door, speak about what you do, don't be shy, believe in what you do, believe the fact that plastic is fantastic. But in saying so, this is not a marketing spiel. It's a commitment to make sure it stays fantastic, to make sure we introspect on what can be improved, what is going wrong, how can we improve it, what can we do better. And this is a journey that makes me wake up very excited every morning and go to office, uh, even though I'm 64. I'd love to continue to do this because it's the right thing to do. Plastic is fantastic and the way industry work together, as Mr. Dixit said, it is not a marketing campaign. Companies work together and save the environment. Thank you for joining Thank together. You. Plastic is fantastic.